what's up you guys today I want to show you a video on all my operating systems now these are virtual machines um, I have only 95 to Windows XP I'm trying to get ISOs for Vista M7 um, so that I can complete this and uh, I'm going to show you the changes in Windows history first off I'm going to start off with Windows 95 I was two years old when this came out hopefully it starts out and here we are. A bunch of registry errors, which I really don't care about. And I got VGA support. My password. Oops. Try again. Fail. And yes, I got the sound to work. Found the screen recorder. Uh, what was I going to show you? All right. Run over Windows 95, and the heart, and this is the Windows Explorer. Why doesn't that work? It hates me. All right, done with that one. Windows 98. I was six. Right? No, I was five for Windows 98. For Windows 98, I was six years old. This one I have no registry errors. I can do with my 95. And it's going to take a while to start because it updates a lot. So I can close that down. Alright. Any time now. Come on. I'm only limited to 15 minutes. There we go. And of course, the background I got off the internet. So and my password. Just a little bit of a uh, some little hardware issues. And I love this startup thing. Too bad I can't get it in my actual Windows 7 machine. Okay, close out of that. Uh, Microsoft Office 97. Copyrighted to me. Uh, yep. And, yeah. Let's just take a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And, uh, yep. Internet Explorer 6, Windows Media Player 5, Computer. A little bit more of a change than 95. Winver. Windows 98. Remember, I was only right? was I six? No, I was five years old when it came out. And then shut that one down. Whoops. Did it too fast. Windows 2000, I was seven. I was five years old when Windows 98 came out, and I was seven with Windows 2000. This, I think, was pretty much the main change in Windows. Not really an extreme change, but I think this was pretty much the big revolution in history of Windows. Because Windows XP was made from Windows 2000, it's just Microsoft recycled some of the components. Yay, I got VGA support too. Yay. Preparing connections. <laughs> It's a little bit slower, but what can you do? There we go. And this I have to keep up. So I'm bringing this to school someday, which I really need to get some. Alright, Windows 2000. Throws back to, and I have 261 kilobytes of memory. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah. Oops. Okay. I was in the wrong area. I meant to go to... Oh, what the fudge? I know I installed it. Hmm. Fudge. Oh, well, that's okay. 
Anyway, this is Windows 2000. Not much of a change, really. I always make them 100 gig hard drives. Because we want to make them decent. Tray icons? Yeah. Firefox 8 and Internet Explorer 6. This Firefox 8? Yup. It's amazing that this still supports. Okay. Shut that one down. And now, Windows XP Professional. One of the most best. Oops. Wait. I need to wait. So this power's down. Power off. Or you know what? I'll just wait. Alright, Windows XP Professional. One of the greatest operating systems ever. Windows XP was one of the greatest and most stablest systems I've ever played with. Uh, okay. Okay, good. It didn't crash out of VMware for me. Thank God. And it's going to take a while for it to start because I have a lot of drivers. And I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. Windows has started up now. Um, my default user is administrator, so I'll check in my password. Oops. Oh, yeah. There we go. It has no password. Yes, I changed the startup sound because I was not liking the original. Um, yes, it has all the updates installed and I have security and everything. I usually use this for a backup source, pretty much. And I did have Windows XP on my computer before, if you guys haven't known that. I made this a 300 gig drive. Let's open up Winver real quick. It's a little bit slow because of Windows 2000, but that's okay. And yes, Windows XP is recycled components from Windows 2000. It's just that they changed a few things with it. And here we are, registered to me, and physical memory, 376 megabytes, which is, I don't know, I'm not good at math, but, but it's pretty low compared to the actual what Windows XP should have, which is 512 megs of memory, I think, right? Yeah. And here's Office 2007. So yay for me, and it's a little slow, so it's going to take a while to close this out. Alright guys, that's all the operating systems I really have for you. And, uh, and I am trying to get Vista on 7, like I said, so hopefully I'll get it for you. Alright, so I hope you all have a fantastic, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, and I'll talk to you in February, hopefully. <laughs> so, see y'all later.